Receiving this alumni award is a really humbling experience in the fact that I really love the education that I received at Tulane and it's allowed me to really grow and build in amazing places and coming back to Tulane to receive the award and celebrate that is really a really special experience for me. So to me, having an award named after me is incredible. I mean, it was so astonishing when I got the call from President Michael Fitz and Dean Iñaki Aldai. It's really important for us to highlight our alums that are not only excellent professionals, excellent designers, excellent preservationists, but are also committed to the public good. So this is something that distinguishes Tulane and it's important to recognize. Oh, I think it's important to highlight successful alumni because it gives the young people hope, I think, when they see not only successful people, but hopefully it inspires them and it gives them optimism for their future dreams and see successful people who can directly attribute it to a great education at Tulane University. It was really like a community. I really wanted to be an architect initially and then I was feeling a little frustrated at times, but there was always a professor that came in and really helped guide me through and made a real difference in who I am today. So a lot of people don't know this, but my whole family came to New Orleans when I was five years old in 1965 because of Tulane University. So my father was hired as a professor's exchange program between the university that he helped found in Cali, Columbia. And at that time, that medical school was doing professors exchange with Tulane University Medical School. And then we ended up staying and never returning. The school's mission of applying, generating and applying knowledge to address the urgent issues in which we are now as, as humanity, for me, is the commitment of the disciplines of architecture and the built environment to address the urgencies in which we are now. And this urgency is that maybe we cannot do everything in the built environment, but the built environment has been very important in creating inequalities, in creating part of the climate crisis in which we are today. It's imperative that we address them from our side, that we don't shy away from the problems, that we commit to really impact the world. For me, the legacy of Perez is the impact that we're having in our work on the communities that we live and work in. So our tagline is actually, we design, build, and develop communities where people thrive. How are we affecting those end users that are gonna use that building or that park or that uh, community we're building for decades, if not centuries? So are we gonna have a positive impact? And what are the unintended consequences, potentially, of the decisions we're making today? So we owe it to those future generations to make those buildings and communities as resilient, as sustainable, as possible, as beautiful as possible, right? Aesthetics matter. We've developed a number of meaningful projects over the last 30 years. Um, I'd say one that really stands out uh, is the Wythe Hotel, which was an adaptive reuse project in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Um, and that project is meaningful for a number of reasons. One, we saved a building that could have been torn down, but it also set the stage for the way that we looked at projects, being able to add to a building in a meaningful way, uh, save a building, reuse a lot of the materials within that building to create the furniture that was in the building. But even bigger and more important than that was that that building became a real focal point in that neighborhood and became the living room for the neighborhood. People embraced the project. They continue to do really good things um, for the community. And so that was, a, I think, a, a very special project. Tulane University School of Architecture is going through the possibly, I think, the most exciting period in its history. To me, the growth in the number of majors, the, the growth in the enrollment, the renovation of the building uh, is just explosive and a super exciting time to be involved with Tulane, both as a student and as an alumni, you know, able to give back and join in. New Orleans is the place to study architecture and to study all the fields of the built environment because we are not a laboratory. We are the real thing. We don't recreate conditions. We are facing in real time, in real scale, all the problems that the world is having now. Social, environmental problems, equity problems, we all have that in New Orleans. So coming to study architecture, preservation, real estate, landscape architecture, engineering, design to New Orleans is 
coming to address the challenges that we have as a society and how important is the built environment to address these challenges. The most exciting aspect of the School of Architecture for me today is the way the school is growing out of architecture. The way the school is able to weave architecture into a whole host of other disciplines, the way it's focusing on sustainability, the way it's relating to real estate development, design. I just see a really exciting hotbed of thought and ideas coming together to weave a bigger picture of how we can be more responsible and more effective in creating change in our communities.